One Irish woman has the freedom of the city of Dublin. Her name was Maureen Potter. So in 140 years, I would like to know from Dublin City Council and from the Lord Mayor's office who nominates the person who gets freedom of the city every year, is there not more than one Irish woman in 140 years who should have that honour? If we were to wait until next year, 2017, if every single year the Lord Mayor's Office and Dublin City Council bestowed the honour of the freedom of the city of Dublin to a woman for the next 70 years, to gain gender parity for that award, it would be 2086. Chances are we wouldn't be standing here, any of us, maybe some of us, some of the children perhaps. <laughs> so how about not waiting that long? How about in 2016, the Lord Mayor's Office and Dublin City Council nominates, along with the male nominee for the Freedom of the City this year, 70 living Irish women to get freedom of the city of Dublin so that we can have gender parity now. There is a very large loophole in the freedom of the city of Dublin that means it, there, you are not limited to nominating one or two people every year. There is no opposition to this and what a fantastic message it would send in 2016 that Ireland, that Dublin, could be one of the few capitals that has gender parity for the freedom of the city. There are plenty of women who deserve it, and there are plenty of women who should get it right now. If you have any suggestions for what Irish women deserve the freedom of the city of Dublin, tweet them at hashtag free women, and hopefully we can get through to a very simple way, a very easy way, and a free way don't cost anything to bestow the freedom of the city to Irish women today. It's easy, it's simple, there's no opposition to it, it doesn't cost anything, so let's just do it. Hashtag free women, happy International Women's Week, happy International Women's Year, and thank you so much for having me.